is Ian with Vulture Moto, and this is a 1978 R100S that I am preparing for resale on Bring a Trailer. The engine I took down to the rear main seal and the crank nose seal. I did not pull the shafts or uh, the timing chain because those were all in good shape. I hung the cylinders just to refresh the uh, cross hatching, decarbon valves, piston crowns. Did a top end reseal, new, you know, push rod, tube seals, head gaskets, valve cover gaskets. The gearbox is, was functioning flawlessly, so I did not open it up. These are the original headers, they cleaned up really pretty well. Mufflers, these are actually new uh, replica Dunstall six shooters. And the fenders, front and rear, came from Flat Racer UK. No cuts or modifications were made to the mainframe. Uh, I didn't repaint the frame. I did touch it up here and there. The subframe, I shortened and narrowed. The seat, I made custom fiberglass pan um, foam from Dynamic Systems, leather cover. The lock functions, the latch functions. It's on uh, one hinge with an adjustable pin. It had the snowflake mags front and rear that I swapped out. The listers are excellent if you set them up correctly. So I pulled the guts, I replaced all the innards with correct BMW stuff. Did the preload, spacing, new bearings, repack, bearings for the steering head, swing arm. The fuel tank came from another project. It had already been painted and fitted with the knee pads and new badges and the fancy cap. The shocks are actually shallows that I disassembled, powder coated the springs, fitted a set of Schleiss 6 shrouds. So the shocks are, are still in the same location, same length shocks. The ride setup is exactly the same as stock. A full-size AGM battery in there. The uh, BMW style power lit port is there. Stainless steel side covers that I just made from perforated plate. All the like sort of small bits I uh, blasted and powder coated. Um, levers and perches. The uh, headlight brackets that were abbreviated for the top triple clamp. The original steering damper functions and doesn't leak, which is kind of amazing. A GPS speedometer with electronic tack. It has uh, some of the idiot lights supplemented by uh, neutral uh, oil and charge. The original gauge pigtail is folded back and tucked up under the tank. The Dyna 3 ignition uh, Hella horn, uh, holding key, of course. Um, has the uh, Euro or UK style light switch. So you start the bike with the light off and then, you know, switch the light on. Slash seven switch gear, and, you know, of course actually works and is intuitive. Unlike the later versions, the, uh, the flasher not only works, it actually snaps back with horn. Compact LED tail flash brake light. This is a Dead cold start. Little chunk, got fuel. 